Dear students, welcome you in Electrical Simplified channel by Dr. Chandarani Madam. Today's topic is three phase star connection. And thus, we will uh, go through the topic that is the line current, what is the line current equations, what is the line voltage equations, and the power balanced power equations in the three phase star. First, we will go through the electrical uh, circuit diagram of the three phase star. This is the star connection. In this, uh, this is a line, outer part is a line current, inner parts are the phase parts. This is the neutral point and another first one, line currents are equal to the phase currents by observing this uh, circuit diagram. In case of the phase voltages, what is meant by phase voltage? First we will go through that. One line and the one neutral, the voltage between the one line and one neutral is called as a phase voltage. There are the three phase voltages. First one, uh, if we call that VP or EFA and ERN is the one phase voltage across R and N. This is the one VP. Another one is the voltage between Y phase and neutral. That is another phase voltage and third one is the the neutral and the B point, B line. This is the BBN. Three phase voltages are equally uh, equal in magnitude and placed 120 degree equally. This is the balance system and the line voltages are the voltage between the any two lines that is the lines are RYB. Any two lines means VL is equal to EL is equal to uh, voltage between R and Y, ERY that is uh, E R Y. Then another one is voltage between E B Y, and then another third one is the E B R. The three e, uh, line voltages are equal in magnitude and placed 120 degree each other. This is the phasor diagram. First, we will uh, resultant is the line voltage. Go through this phasor diagram. Phasor diagram is this is the um, phasor representation, graphical representation in the plane. We know that the first, second, third, and fourth plane. First, we will the reference are the phase voltages. First, we will draw the three phase voltages equal in magnitude each other with the 120 degree displacement. This is the three phase voltages. First, we explain here in point number two, that is the phase voltage, that is ERN, the voltage between R and N, that is EP. Third one is the, that is as per the phase sequence, this is the R ke baad Y, that is the YN, and this is the BN. The three equally uh, phase voltages extended in opposite direction. This is the second step. That is the force. Uh, similarly, the force is in opposite direction only. And then third one is the make the parallelogram. And the parallelogram sides are the, this is the one phase voltage. Another side is B. That is the another phase voltage. And the resultant is as per this, the parallelogram. The angle of this parallelogram, we know that is the 60 degree in such a way that the three EPs are 120 degree displaced. And this EP extended in opposite direction. That means this uh, angle is 180 degree. 180 minus 120, that means the angle of the parallelogram is a 60 degree. That's why the resultant is root of A square plus B square plus 2AB cos of theta and the angle that means a side is a one phase voltage that is ERN that is the voltage between one uh, line and neutral second one is a EBN square plus 2AB that means one phase voltage another one is the another phase voltage that is the both sides of the parallelogram and third one is the cos 60 angle that means this RN is replaced by EP square plus EP square plus 2 and the cos of 60 is 1 by 2. This is a cancel out. And third one is the EP and EP is a EP square. That's why the resultant is line voltage is the root 3 of EP. Root 3 of EP. In such a way, this is the phase voltage. And this is the line voltage. And the line voltage is root 3 of EP. And actually, global concept of this is the line voltage is greater than the phase voltage. The line voltage that means the voltage between line to line that is a three phase voltage and phase voltage is a 220 volt it is a single phase voltage and the power balance equations are similarly active power root 3 VLIL cos phi the active root 3 VLIL sin phi apparent power root 3 VLIL and next lecture we will go through the three phase delta today's lecture we covered the topic of this this is the circuit diagram representation of phase voltage and second one line voltage represented through the resultant parallelogram this is the 
important diagram phase diagram of the three phase star the resultant in the three phase star is always the line voltage okay so once bye